Thank you, Presiding Officer. And can I also thank the Minister in a, for advance notice of her statement? Though I have to say I'm deeply disappointed by the tone and content of the statement. And can I put on record that the response by the First Minister to my letter yesterday was merely a political attack, which unfortunately the Minister is repeating today? Because businesses, the hospitality sector and recycling companies have been stressed and have highlighted their concerns for months and being told to go to a website by the Minister for the last few months has not cut it, especially when the information they sought wasn't even there. And now that we have this inevitable delay, surely we need a grown-up approach from both the UK and the Scottish governments to ensure we get a scheme that will not disadvantage Scottish businesses and consumers. Scottish Labour is absolutely clear we support the principle of a DRS scheme. They have been successful in other countries. And in the debate today, we will highlight our commitment to stronger action on climate emergency. But even now, there is no admission in this statement about what's been wrong with this scheme as its design. And that's why we've been asking questions for months. A key issue I want some response from the Minister on is the implementation of the scheme. She said again it's been given to the private company Circularity Scotland doesn't represent small businesses with no accountability or parliamentary oversight. oversight. They've already given the contract to BIFA, now a US hedge fund owned company, which will put jobs, local recycling companies at risk and give them a monopoly over what prices are charged in the future. So will the minister now roll back on this? What will remain a concern to businesses is the exact detail of how the scheme is to be implemented. So will the minister now commit to meet with those producers, members of the hospitality sector and recycling companies who will still face major challenges, even with the changes she has announced today? Minister. Uh, I thank the member very much. I, I continue to meet with producers, uh, members of the retail sector, hospitality sector, um, and I'm happy to meet with uh, recyclers in, this, in the sector as well. Engagement with industry and with business has been a core part of how we've been delivering this. Indeed, after the First Minister's statement on Tuesday, I held rapid meetings with producers, uh, retailers, and with the ENGOs in the sector as well that very afternoon, which is just a continuing example of the kind of engagement we've had along. I'll, I'll go through some of the timeline here because I think that might be useful for the, men, uh, for the member to understand. Since last year, we've developed considerable momentum toward what was intended to be the launch this year in August. And that included working with industry uh, on their concerns toward the scheme. The way that the regulations were passed by this parliament were deliberately broad <laughs> to allow industry to make those adjustments and decisions that were right for industry. This scheme is paid for by industry and delivered by industry. I suppose this parliament could have passed a scheme that was paid for by the taxpayer and controlled by government, but that is not what this parliament passed. But within the scope of delivering the scheme, there are some key partners. One is the Scottish government and the Scottish parliament. We passed the regulations. SEPA enforces those regulations and industry's job is to adhere to the regulations. Circularity Scotland is a private, not-for-profit business that has been created by industry to enable them to comply with the regulations as passed by this parliament. Throughout the process of delivering this project, industry has come back to me as a representation of the Scottish Government and said, look, there are certain elements of this scheme we would like to clarify, to get detail on, to improve. And so, and so we have done so. We clarified the process on street, for streamlining exclusions. We um, got rid of online take-back for most people who would have been responsible for it. Um, we got, members, please, some courtesy. Mm -hmm. Minister. We worked with Circularity Scotland, who in March delivered £22 million worth of cash flow. And today I have also announced significant um, adjustments to the delivery of the scheme that have been asked for by industry. Industry asked us to exclude miniatures. We have done so. Industry asked us to look at what could be done for small producers. 44% of small producers are now not required to have a deposit on this scheme. So the member should be clear that I have systematically worked through and delivered on what industry are asking for. And now we have 10 months from now to the new launch date. And I'm looking forward to working with industry to get to that launch date successfully. On Tuesday, the businesses I engaged with had some very constructive, and I thank them for this, suggestions as to how we might work together to do that. And I will continue to do that. Thank you. I, I would point out that we would probably...